Hello everyone and welcome to tutorial number 7 and in today's tutorial I'm going to use TyFlow to simulate cloth effect and also cloth tear effect as you can see here. So we're using TyFlow and 3ds Max for this software and these are the steps that we will take to achieve that. So when you open up your 3ds Max, jump into the perspective view and we want to create a flag with a pole. So in that case, we'll use a plane to create the flag. Um, make it like this. And then we want to rotate it um, on the Y axis by 90 degrees. Oh, oops. Um, We want to rotate it by 90 degrees. And if you jump into modifier, we want to increase the segment's length. And I'm going to go with 40 by 40. Let's move this up. And to create the pole, just use the cylinder and then extrude out. Jump into modifier and change, lower the radius and possibly change the color. It's just, just easier to see. And then the height. And we want to align the pole as close to the flag. Maybe let's do a better color. So now we have our simple um, flag and pole model. We want to create a tie flow. Just put it somewhere in the scene and open up the editor. So I'll just put it here so we can see what's happening to the model. So the first thing you want to do is you want to birth objects. And then we want to pick that um, flag. Then the second thing we want to do is you want to press tab and then you want to type in cloth cloth bind select that now the next thing you want to do is you want to jump into display and you want to press mark particles with no geometry so you can view it better in here and then press tab again and type in force double click it and we want to set let's say we set the strength to 10 and if we play the video you can see that the panel or the flag is moving up this is because we we are setting it to go z height so let's change x to 1 and then z to 0 and it should be able to go that direct. So now that we have the flag going in the x-axis, we wanted to attach it to the pole. And the way to do that is you want to type surface surface test, and you want to pick the the pole. Also, if you click um, F three, just make sure that the pole is in the flag is inside the pole. Now we wanted to specify normal inside. And since we have this, we'll, we'll go and look up for object bind. You wanna pick the pole again and then attach it. And if you play the video, you can see that the pole is, uh, the flag is stretches with the pole. Now, once you have the object bind, you want to click on lock to surface. So essentially what this means is that the cloth, if the cloth crosses the object, which is the pole, it will be binded. And that means that no matter the, the stretchiness of the cloth, 
as long as it's um as long as it's connect uh, it's inside the pole it will always be binded when you play the the animation you can see that the cloth is not it's not stretching the way we want it to and the reason for that you want to go to force um, wind and under built-in noise one you want to go under strength and give it a strength if you play the video you'll see what will happen is that it will start to act like a flag like a cloth flag yeah and you also want to scroll down to the bottom under force effect and you want to change all of the, the directions to zero except for the x so now you can see the we'll just keep it at 90 and 90 and you can see it's the the flag is quite stretchy and um, to reduce that just reduce the strength oh yeah so now it's it's doing flag like motion all right so now we have the simulation or the cloth simulation in a flag pole and something that you can do a little bit extra that's that's really fun is under cloth bind go to tearing and unable cloth tearing and if you play your video your animation you will see your cloth tearing apart which is a quite a cool effect that um, Typhlor offers and in comparison to other um, 3d modeling softwares this is quite a quick way of simulating cloth tear using Typhlor you can maximize um, the stretchiness and this will change the detailing of the tear and you can also go back to the plane we created go to modifiers and add turbo smooth and increase the segments by 50 50 just be aware this will may slow your computer down and you can see you can have a better tearing effect as you play the video yep and that's it for today that's how you create a cloth simulation with a tearing effect using Typhlo. and thank you very much for tuning in we'll see you in the next video